Universal states, an object at rest remains at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion at constant speed, and in a straight line unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Here's an example. people were in motion until they ran into each other. So they were the unbalanced force which caused the carts to stop. Then the old lady pushed the old man's cart backwards. So the man was at rest until the woman, the unbalanced force, acted upon him. acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. Here's an example. Oh, a soccer ball! Is that a birdie? Where are my glasses? Where is my soccer ball? Oh! You. Mom. Hey you. What? Come here. In this cart. Go work on go get daddy bear. Get in the car. Yeah, get in the car. Come on, get in the car. Why? Because I won't get dirty, but. Isn't that dangerous? Yeah, just get in the car. Okay. Okay, ready? Wait, wait. 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 Stupid card anyway. Good get him card. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see how this puzzle works. You can see, the woman threw the ball with a lighter force, and the man hit the ball with the greater force. Then the man pushed the cart with me in it, and then without me in it. When he pushed the cart without me in it, it went farther because it didn't have as much mass. Third law of motion states. Whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. Here's an example. It's a squirrel. No, it's my hair. It's a squirrel. Sir, no. Sir, it's a squirrel. Oh. Sir, Why? please stop tormenting the customers. Why? Because Walmart has a rule that if someone gets hurt in the store, the store is held responsible and we get in trouble for it. So please stop. Oh. Sir, you get back here. See, the old man exerted force by messing up the old lady's hair, and the old woman reacted with the equal and opposite amount of force. Oh, 
What kind is it?